Today we are going to learn how to make tortillas with our morning cook Belkis. Hi Belkis. Hello. One of the best parts of Honduras are the delicious baleadas made with homemade flour tortillas. So we're going to learn how the tortilla dough gets made. So Belkis, in the bowl what do you have already? Flour. Flour. And now you are adding? Sugar. So you've got two spoonfuls of sugar, mm -hmm. and now you're adding some, some salt. salt. One spoonful of salt. How many tortillas does this make? I think ten tortillas. Okay, about ten tortillas. So now the next ingredient is baking soda, which some people use baking powder. Um, but Belkis finds that it, they come out the best with baking soda. And we trust Belkis because her tortillas are excellent. One spoonful of baking soda? A half. The next ingredient is manteca, which translated means yar lard. It's actually more like shortening. It's vegetable based. So that was about a third of a cup. Half of a cup. So about a half a cup of the manteca or the shortening. So now we're just mixing all of the ingredients. The only thing that we are missing is going to be water. The trick to good tortillas is really working the dough and making sure that there is enough water, not just too much of the shortening. If you put in too much shortening, then the tortillas kind of are hard and crack when you try to fold them, not soft and wonderful. So once the dough is made, it needs to sit a while. About how long do you sit the dough when you've made it? Como cuánto tiempo va a dejar la la masa después? Después de amasarla, yo la masa entera la dejo descansando como 10 minutos. Ajá. Después de que ya ha descansado 10 minutos, la vuelvo a amasar y ahí sí empiezo a hacer las pelotas. Ajá. Entonces le, le deja entero por las primeras 10 minutos. So 10 minutes with the dough resting after the dough has been made. And then after that, she um, kneads the dough again, shapes the balls. And then you need to leave the dough, the balls to rest too. Le deja reposar la, las pelotas también. También. Unos 20 minutos. So the balls need to rest like a... 20 minutes. So this is not a fast food. You can't whip this out because it, it, the dough does need some resting time. But once the dough is made, it can stay refrigerated for several days or you can also freeze it. Más o menos cuánto de agua, Belkis? Como una taza? Yo creo que como no una taza completa. Creo que un poco más de media taza, pero no no la taza completa. Okay. So maybe like three quarters of a cup of water. You really have to go by feel. In Honduras, most of the cooking is not all measured. There's no cookbooks for things. People eyeball things. They add a little of this and a little of that, which is hard when you are trying to learn and replicate. Um, but if you just experiment and start getting a feel for how workable the dough should be, then you can have a better idea of what amount of water to add.
Once the dough is all ready and you need to cook it, there's a special um, dish pan that you use to cook it. It's called a kumal. It's made of cast iron. We have one on the stove over there, so I'm just zooming in for a look. It's round and flat and has a handle attached to it. The dough kind of sticks to it as you put it on so you can pull the dough out in a good shape. It holds its shape instead of shrinking up. Like if you tried to do it in a regular frying pan, then the dough kind of shrinks up on you and doesn't retain its nice shape. So if you are coming to Honduras and you want to attempt this at home after you've left, good idea to buy a comal to take home with you. You can buy the Okay, so now we're going to leave the dough waiting for 10 minutes.